I typically like a clean iPad home screen, but what I like just as much is having a dashboard where I can review the important things in my life with just a glance, like this. I do this using widgets, and if you'd like to learn how to do this too, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and if not, welcome back. This channel is all about learning how to use your iPhone and iPad with simple, easy to follow tutorials. No complex stuff here. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please consider subscribing and tell your friends about the channel too. All right, I like a clean home screen. I really do. In fact, I made a video about it earlier this year. Link in the description below. For me, the less clutter, the better. And the iPad has a default way of organizing your apps into folders for you. So there's no reason not to have a clean home screen. But what you may not know is that you can have multiple screens set up just to your liking. And lurking just to the right of my home screen is what I call my dashboard. Here I can see a bunch of info at one time using iPad widgets. I can see if I have any email and whether I have any reminders or calendar appointments. I can also check the weather and keep track of my quick notes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three quick tips on how to choose a widget and add it to your home screen, how to edit a widget, and how to create a widget stack, which is really cool. All right, let's jump in. All right, the first thing I wanna show you is just simply how to add a widget. It's pretty simple. If you go to your home screen and you just tap and hold, you'll see a little plus in the upper left corner. And if you tap on that, that's how you add a widget. And over here are all the widgets that you can add. So I'm going to add, for me, my email first. So I use Spark Email, and I like the size. Now, if you'll notice, you've got a bunch of little round circles, little round dots. And you can choose the different size of widget. Maybe you want something bigger. Maybe you want something smaller. Maybe it shows different information. The widgets are set up by the developer of the app. In this case, I just want the very simple widget to show me whether I have any email. So once you've chosen the widget size you want, you just tap Add Widget, and now it's on your home screen, like that. And that's it. And when you tap on the widget, it'll take you right into the application. And the widget itself is dynamic, so it will show how many emails you have waiting. So you can just look at that even without opening your email app and see how many emails you have. So as I mentioned before, I like a clean home screen and so I don't want my widgets on my main home screen. But you can simply slide them to the next page and create a new page. And how you do that is you tap on the widget, tap edit home screen, and then it starts jiggling. And then you just take it over and let go. And now it's gone over to the next screen. So here's your home screen, nice and clean. And there's the second screen with the widget on it. And then if you go over, here are all your apps in the folders. And that's how you create a second screen and add a widget to it. So let's add a couple more widgets. So I'm going to add my calendar widget, and I like that size. I'm going to add my contacts widget. And I'm going to add my notes widget. And then I'm going to add, say, my battery widget. It shows me how much power I have. Now, you can edit these widgets. So now they're on your home screen. And if you tap and hold, this is the contacts widget, tap and hold the widget, you get an edit widget on here and you can tap on that and you can choose the contact you want so I'll change that to Lindsay and now you've got a different contact and the purpose of this is for you to set this up exactly how you want it to be now not all widgets will allow you to edit them but most of the Apple widgets will so here if I tap on my notes widget and I click on edit widget I'd really like not to have my notes folder, but my quick notes folder. 
because that's where I just jot down phone numbers and little notes and stuff that's sort of important to me. And now if I tap on that, it takes me directly to my quick notes. And that is super handy. And that's how you edit a widget. In each case, you just tap and hold the widget and it'll give you the option of editing it. And that's great. That's how you edit a widget. Now, the super handy thing or the super power of widgets is that you can have widget stacks. So let me show you. If you tap and hold, go back over here and hit the plus, you see something that says smart stack. You can just tap on that and click add widget. If you'll notice it says no content available because there was nothing there. But if you scroll through it, you can see a whole bunch of different widgets like this. But that's a widget stack that's created by your iPad. But you can create your own widget stacks. And let me show you how to do that. First, we'll go in here. We'll tap on the screen, get everything jiggling. And I'm going to delete this. I'm going to remove that. And now I want to add, uh, create a widget stack. So I'm going to do it with a contact again. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to tap on Add Contacts, and this time I'll add Rhonda. And now here she is over here, and here's Lindsay. But I can drag the widget on top of the other widget and let go. And now I can just scroll between the two contacts. And you might put your favorite four, five, six, ten contacts in that one little widget stack. And then when you want to get to them, just tap on it. And now you can make a call, or you can send a text, or you can do a video right from there without having to go into the application and opening it up and digging around and finding the contact. It's right there on your home screen. And I'll show you a couple other things too. So let's tap again and let's add a few things here. So I'm going to add podcast and I'm going to add maybe the clock and I'm going to add, go down to the weather. And now I've got all these here, but I want to create a stack out of them. So I'm going to take that, put it on top of the battery. I'll take the clock and put it on top of the podcast. And I'll take the weather and put it on there like that. And now I've got a stack of widgets that are useful for me to see. Now I don't live in Myrtle Beach, so I'm going to click and hold. And I'm going to click Edit Weather. And I'll go to Location. And I'll put in Raleigh, and I'll tap away, and now I've got the, the Raleigh weather there. So here we go. We're back to a nice clean home screen, but now you can slide over and kind of get a dashboard. I see I have no appointments today, I have no email, I've got my notes handy, and I can see the weather all in a glance without having to open any of the other apps. That's the superpower of widgets. And that is how you create a widget stack. Man, they are so helpful. You've got to admit that widgets are pretty cool. Apple added them to the iPad not too long ago, and I've used them since day one. My guess is that Apple will continue to refine and improve the way widgets are used, and that's a good thing. Well, I know this video was short, but I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you use widgets and how you have them set up on your home screen. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.